Hello kindergarten and welcome to another read aloud video. Now for today, you are going to be watching this video for Wednesday as well as for Thursday. This is going to be the important story for our week that we're going to use for our read aloud quiz. So please make sure that you watch it on Wednesday and watch it again on Thursday and pay close attention to the questions that I ask. Our story today is called One Moose, 20 Mice. It's called One Moose, 20 Mice. And as you can see, I see the numbers one and 20 on our cover. I also see a cat sitting on a moose's antlers and the moose right here. And then I also see all of the mice, those 20 mice on the cover of our story. Now, in thinking about this story, I want you to think about the stories you listened to earlier this week. You listen to one, two, three, go to the zoo, and one duck stuck. Now, thinking about those stories, what did those stories have in common? What was the same about those stories? Again, I just want you to think, what was the same about those stories? When I think about those stories, I notice that there were numbers, and when I look at the cover and our title, there are numbers, one and 20, one and 20. And then what I also think about, one duck stuck, I noticed that there were animals in that story. And when we look at the cover of this story, we see the cat, we see mice, and we see the moose. So there are numbers and animals in our stories this week. That is something that we keep seeing. That is what is the same about our stories. So pay close attention to this story because I'm gonna be asking questions about what numbers come next and what animals you see. And then I also want you to pay close attention to the pattern in the story. There is something that keeps repeating over and over and over again in our story. And I wanna make sure that you know to pay close attention to those words. What words keep repeating in this story? That's the big question for today. Now looking at the bottom of our cover, we see Claire Beaton. She is not only the author who writes the words, but she's also the illustrator. But instead of drawing with um, a crayon or colored pencils or markers or even doing a painting, she chose to use felt and she sewed the pieces together. So she made mice and the moose and the cat with felt. Okay, it's kind of a soft material. So let's go ahead and get started with our story. One moose, 20 mice. See our cat in the front? Here we go. One moose, but where's the cat? So again, how many moose do you see? You know you only see one, and then we also see the number one right here. And the question asks us, where's the cat? So where's the cat in the story? Hmm, if you look right over here, we see the cat is hiding behind the number one. Two crabs, but where's the cat? So again, we see the number two and we see crabs this time and they look like they're in some type of a bucket or pail. But where is the cat? Hmm, if you look down here, I see a tail. Three ladybugs, but where's the cat? So I see the number three and if I count one, two, three, yep, there are three ladybugs, but the story just asks me, where's the cat? I look closely, I see the orange cat is hiding behind the leaf. Let's keep reading. Four whales, but where's the cat? So I see the number four, just like in our other stories, we saw numbers, one, two, three, four. I can count the whales, but where's the cat? Ooh, look, look who's right over there. There's our orange friend. Now I want you to think to yourself, what number comes after four? What number comes after four? I bet you can guess it. That's right, it's the number five. Five horses, but where's the cat? So again, look closely at the picture. Where's the cat at? Can you find him? Next page. Six ducks, but where's the cat? So again, I see the number six and I can count. One, two, three, four, five, six. And one thing that I notice in the story is that the illustrator is showing us where the animals live. 
So I'm looking at this picture and I can tell that these ducks live in a pond. This is their pond they live in and they're in swimming in the pond. But where's that cat? Oop, I see him right up there. There's the cat. Seven snakes, but where's the cat? Can you find the cat? Can you see where he's at? Eight frogs, but where's the cat? Can you see where the cat's at? Let's count the frogs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ooh, I see an eye behind the eight. I bet that's the cat. Nine parrots, but where's the cat? Hmm, so see the number nine. Let's count the parrots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Where's that cat? Oh, I see him. It's right there. So what number is gonna come next? What comes right after nine? What number comes next? If you guess 10, you're absolutely correct. 10 tigers, but where's the cat? Can you find him? Look at both pictures. Can you find the cat? Where's the cat? Can you find the cat? Let's keep reading. 11 owls, but where's the cat? So here are all the owls, but down here, this is not an owl, that is the cat. So I'm gonna stop for a second because I wanna ask the question that I asked earlier. If you've been listening to the story, what are the words that keep repeating in our story? What are the words that keep repeating in our story? Well, one thing I notice as I keep looking back at all the pages is I notice they keep asking us a very important question. They keep asking us, but where's the cat? Look at the other page, but where's the cat? But where's the cat? So every time I turn the page, they're always asking me that question, but where's the cat? So that is the pattern that keeps repeating itself. But where's the cat? Let's see if it keeps repeating in our story. 12 fish, but where's the cat? See, there it is again. It keeps repeating, but where's the cat? The number 12, the fish, and I see Mr. Cat, he looks like he wants to eat those fish. And again, the author is telling us where fish live. Some fish we know can live in a fish bowl in some people's homes. 13 monkeys, but where's the cat? I see that same set of words repeating itself. Who thinks they can tell me what comes after 13? Do you remember what comes after 13? Use your strategies. If you guess 14, you're absolutely correct. 14 dogs, but where's the cat? Hmm, can you find the cat? Can you see where he's at? I bet you can figure it out. And again, still repeating, but where's the cat? They keep asking us, over and over and over again. 15, 15 dolphins, but where's the cat? Can you find the cat? And again, the author is showing us where dolphins live. They live in the ocean. They live in the ocean. And I see this little cat hand reaching out. What comes after 15? Do you remember what comes after 15? If you guess 16, you're absolutely correct. 16 spiders, but where's the cat? Do you see the cat? And again, they're still repeating those same words, but where's the cat? 17 hens, but where's the cat? So again, they keep repeating that same phrase, but where's the cat? He's sticking out right here. 18 butterflies, but where's the cat? Do you see the cat in the picture? So look at all the butterflies, do you see the cat? So again, they keep asking us, but where's the cat? 
And every time we turn the page, we notice the cat, he is always hiding and looking at the other animals. Do you remember what comes after 18? What comes after 18? If you guess 19, you're absolutely correct. 19 elephants, but where's the cat? They keep asking us the same question, but where's the cat? Do you see him? Where's the cat amongst all these elephants? All the elephants, some of the elephants look like they're wearing blankets or they're holding flowers. So where's the cat? What comes after 19? Do you remember what comes after 19? Get ready. 20. 20 mice and here's the cat. Hmm. So I just noticed something in our story. Every time we turned the page, it always asked us, where's the cat? But on this page, the cat's not hiding anymore. So the story has told us, and here's the cat. Why is the cat not hiding anymore? Can you guess? So we see 20 mice and here's the cat. Why is the cat not hiding anymore? What is he trying to do? So again, every time we read the story, it always asked us, but where's the cat? That was the pattern. That was the words that kept repeating in our story. But on the last page, that's not there anymore. And here's the cat. He came out of hiding. And here's the cat again, the end. Well, again, that was our story, one moose, 20 mice. One to 20 different types of animals in our story. So please remember, thinking about this story, this story was like our other stories, one, two, three, go to the zoo, and one duck stuck because it had numbers and animals. And remember I asked you, what was the pattern that kept repeating itself in the story? But where's the cat? Every single time we opened up the story, they were always asking us, but where's the cat? But where's the cat? Every single page asking us, but where's the cat? So that was what was repeating itself in the story over and over again. That was the pattern. Again, that was the pattern in our story. Again, please make sure you're watching this video for Wednesday and Thursday. Remember, it is for our Read Aloud quiz. I hope that you enjoy the story and enjoy the rest of your day. Bye.